is totally corrupt. Get that through your head. It has to be. The votes, I mean, it has to be. You must vote. You must go and vote. Remember, the primary is Tuesday, February 27th. We need you to get out and vote to set the stage for November. Go vote. November 27th. So that's Donald Trump continuing his years-long campaign against early and mail-in voting Saturday night during his rally in Michigan. Many of his fellow Republicans wish he would stop doing that. And that video is fairly recent. It's from this year in February. As recently as February 2024, you have Donald Trump still spreading falsehoods about mail-in voting and absentee voting, alleging that the process is rife with fraud. However, now Elon Musk is donating a whopping $45 million a month to a new pro-Trump political action committee that's on a mission to increase the Republican vote through absentee ballots. Hmm. So just to give you a sense of how much of a big deal this is funding wise, that totals to $180 million between now and the election to the America First PAC. And the main mission of America First, that that political action committee, again, is to increase mail-in voting and absentee voting by Republican voters. So Musk, again, will donate $45 million a month to America PAC. America PAC uh, had 8.75 million in contributions for the first three month period ending on June 30th. Musk had indicated that he had planned to start his donations in July. So. If he's actually following through on this and committing to it, then that means he's already donating to America PAC. Now, as recently as March, though, Musk tweeted that he didn't intend to donate any money to either candidate. So no money to Trump or Biden, but he has actually gotten closer to Donald Trump in recent months and endorsed him after the assassination attempt. Now, uh, other backers to this political action committee uh, include Joe Lonsdale, who is the co-founder of uh, Palantir Technologies and also the uh, Winklevoss twins. And uh, what's really interesting about America PAC is, again, how they're focusing their energy on getting out the vote, but getting out the vote in the way that Democrats have actually done a really good job through mail-in ballots, through absentee voting. And they're realizing that you know, the falsehoods that were spread by Donald Trump in regard to mail-in ballots, Jank, really hurts Republican candidates and could, again, potentially really hurt Donald Trump in this general election. In fact, I was speaking to uh, one of the producers for one of the conservative shows here at, uh, you know, the RNC, and we were talking about Biden and I was like, you know, I, I can sense that there's a lot of excitement here because the writing's on the wall if Biden remains in the race. And you know what he said to me? No, it's not necessarily true. A lot of us are actually still a little nervous because the Democratic Party did a much better job in building the infrastructure to make it easier for voters on their side to cast their ballots. Republicans are behind on that and we need to build it. And so that's what the America PAC is working on. You have Musk funding it. And what's also really interesting is Musk was also, as recently as this year, spreading falsehoods about absentee ballots and mail-in ballots. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together, we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com team. Yeah, and in fact, I talked to other conservatives here. And um, when I told them, look, I don't think Biden's gonna be the candidate. Uh, he's on borrowed time uh, in terms of his political career and, and how this race is going. I was surprised to see how surprised they were. They didn't realize that that was a significant possibility. And then they got super nervous because our the get out the vote operation for the Democrats is a lot better. Democrats these days are very good at raising money. And, and he even said, look, your grassroots is, actually surprisingly strong. And so when you talk about having a new ticket with that infrastructure in place, that makes conservatives and Republicans who support Donald Trump very, very nervous. And so that's great news if we have a new ticket. So now we're gonna get to more of Elon Musk's hypocrisy on this. But first I wanna explain to you guys why this is one of the dumbest things that Donald Trump has ever done. So back and why he did it, back in the day, Republicans used to have the lead on mail-in voting. And so because they had 
uh, more older voters and older voters uh, are more inclined to do mail in voting because they don't want to go out or some of them can't go out on election day. But by the time that Trump and uh, was in that in the 2020 election, the Democrats had a lead on mail in voting and there was COVID. And so the Republicans didn't believe in COVID, so they would go vote in person. They were much more likely to, and uh, and the and the Democrats were much more afraid of voting in person. So Trump started saying, "Oh yeah," then and he found out from his advisors, "True, hey, you're going to have the lead on the day of the election, but when the mail-in votes come, you'll probably lose the lead." And that's exactly what happened, right? So he got it in his short term head, like he can't think long term, he can't think strategically. He's like, me want to win this election, me hate mail in voting because my consultants just told me it's gonna cost me the election. So he started speaking against mail in voting, but why is that dumb? Because that's not gonna affect Democrats at all, they still did mail in voting. It only dissuaded his own voters from doing mail in voting. Exactly. And the great irony was, you know what Donald Trump did in 2016 and 2020? Mail and vote. Exactly. And he even took a picture with his family all mailing in their votes. It's hilarious. It's so dumb. So now the Republicans are trying to undo that damage. Yes. And ironically, Elon Musk joined all those conspiracy theories online, which Anna's gonna get to in a second. He had tons of tweets. We got one, but we had he, there was like half a dozen at least where he joined the conspiracies about mail and voting. Because after the election, there was a second reason. Because Trump wanted to pretend that's why he lost the election. Like, oh, there was fraud in the mail in voting, 2,000 mules and a Kraken, and you know, they stuffed the mail in voting, and Elon Musk joined in that frenzy. But now you see he's putting $180 million into supporting mail in voting. So they never ever meant it. It was always this weirdo conspiracy theory for the purposes of Donald Trump's ego. Yeah, and by the way, I mean, Elon Musk was spreading falsehoods about mail in voting and absentee ballots as recently as this year. In fact, as recently as this month, which is amazing. And look, I want to be clear about something. I want Americans to vote, okay? As long as you are allowed to vote, you know, you are of age and you, there's no law against you voting, you're an American citizen, great. Like, I want, I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, independent, every American who's eligible to vote should have an easy time voting. So I have no problem with Elon Musk doing this, but the hypocrisy should be called out because, again, as recently as July of this year, he was spreading falsehoods and fear mongering about mail in voting. Uh, let's give you an example from February of this year where Musk wrote, many states automatically register anyone with a driver's license to vote, no citizenship verification. Ballots are then mailed out and ballot harvesters pick them up, mail them in, making fraud traceability impossible. That is not true. I'm gonna get to uh, the debunking of that in just a moment. But one more tweet, and this is the one from July 9th, 2024, meaning this year, Musk writes, Electronic voting machines and anything mailed in is too risky. We should mandate paper ballots, I'm in agreement about that. And in-person voting, not in agreement about that. And so, like, if you look at the actual data, in fact, let me give you data from the Right Wing Heritage Foundation, okay? The Heritage Foundation likes to fear monger about it as well, but in their effort to fear monger about mail-in ballots, they actually debunk themselves, which is amazing. So let's go to that graphic, that's graphic three. A database maintained by the Right Wing Heritage Foundation, which supports restrictions on mail-in voting, reported 1,200 cases of vote fraud in all forms from 2000 to 22. Of those cases, 204 involved the fraudulent use of absentee ballots. This amounts to one case of fraud using mail-in ballots per state every six or seven years or about 0.00006% of total votes cast. That's the Heritage Foundation. It's amazing. I have that stat in my book, Justice is Come. So we've known this for a long time. Uh, mail and ballot fraud is nearly non-existent. I mean, think about it, 200 over the course of 20 years. So that's 10 per year in a country of 330 million people. Oftentimes Republicans trick people by going, can you believe there was 10 cases of voter fraud? As if that sounds like a lot. No, in a country of 330 million people, that's the equivalent of zero. It doesn't affect any election. So 
whenever you hear about, oh my God, voting fraud, mail in voting fraud, the numbers show you it's not remotely true. It's the tiniest issue. Their real concern is not that. They want to do things like voter ID laws because that eliminates 25% of African American voters in the country because they live in cities, they don't have cars, and hence they don't have photo ID. And that is disenfranchising millions of Democratic voters. And that's their real agenda. Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for, of course, this ad. Still, hit the join button below.